Hello, this is Charlie Crater, and the name of my talk today is Reducing Your Anxiety, Making the Difference You Can, Not the Difference You Want. First, I would like to make a little distinction here between inflammatory language and non-inflammatory language. Inflammatory language would be language that produces a physical reaction, language, ideas, thoughts that produce a physical reaction. Certainly nothing wrong with that, sometimes that's totally appropriate. Non-inflammatory language would be that language which helps bring calm to the body and help, will help reduce your anxiety. In particular today, I'd just like to focus on this one phrase, which is, you know, word want. Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting things. Sometimes uh, we all, you know, I, all of us have things we want in life. I'm just going to suggest all the wanting in the world doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And in many cases can really re increase your anxiety. The replacement for it would be making the difference you can, not the difference you want. Or asking right now, it's fine to be wanting things to be different. What difference can I make right now? What's best? You know, example could be you might be pretty upset with the way the government's going, the condition of the environment. Oh my gosh, you know, I want a different government. I want a different president. I want, you know, protection for the environment. You know, want, 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 want. And I'm going to ask you, um, how is that going for you? How's your anxiety? How's your stress? And I'd like, to con like you to consider that no matter, you know, what the situation is, what the circumstances are, who's in power, no matter who it is or what's going on, there's always some kind of difference we can make. And making the difference we can, not the difference we want, is going to actually have us, having us be more of a contribution and will help reduce our anxiety. So I was thinking of a client, I've, actually I can think of several clients and, and also think of myself. But we came in for a few, several sessions where sometimes he couldn't even sit down. He would just get so uh, hyped up. But he was very deeply concerned about the state of our country, about the environment, feeling at times very hopeless. And his language just dominated. You know, I want this to change. I want, want, want. We worked on this for a while and talked about it. And, and I uh, suggested, you know, how is this working for you? I kept bringing up, you know, making a difference you can. And he just didn't want to let go of all this wanting. But eventually he was able to acknowledge, this, well, no, all this wanting isn't doing me any good. I can't, I can't even work. He literally couldn't hold a job. He was so uh, anxiety ridden, so hypervigilant, uh, tr easily triggered into pretty intense anger. And so one day as we were talking, I, I said, well, if you just could focus and just focus on where you can make a difference, make the difference you can, that over the course of time, you're going to be more, more of a contribution towards the things you want in the world. And he took that on. And eventually he was able to get himself working and being a productive member of uh, the community and reducing his anxiety and having more joy in his life and improving his relationships by making the difference you can make, doing what's best in spite of the circumstances. So we can't always get what we want, but we can always make a difference. And that's it for today, and hopefully there's something in what I had to share today that's helpful. Thank you, I love you, and until next time.